everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here and today we're going to be talking about how to sell digital downloads on Etsy. This was in my last video where I talked about different ways of passive income in 2022 and a lot of you requested to see a tutorial on exactly how to do this and were very interested in it. So here we are today with this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I post videos every week talking about ways you can make money online, different ways of passive income, and I share all of my tips and secrets. So make sure to subscribe if you'd like to. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use digital downloads and sell them on Etsy. This is a phenomenal way to make passive income, especially if you are a beginner, because this doesn't take much money to start up at all. And it's fairly easy to use. And Etsy, as we all know, is something that I love because it organically pushes traffic to your Etsy shop even if you don't have many sales at all. So I'm just going to share my screen and kind of go over different ways that you can do this and I'm going to show you two different things that you can sell as a digital download. So on my screen now, as you're able to see, I am just on Etsy.com and I have found a listing that kind of gives a little bit more of what I'm talking about just as a visual. So this shop has been selling digital downloads for a while now. They're a star seller and they have over 20,000 sales of just selling downloadable files. And they're only charging a dollar per downloadable file, but this is passive income. So this person created this planner, uploaded it once to Etsy and has sold it and other things like it 22,000 times so you can do the map and just see how much money this shop has generated just by selling an instant download and this is a one-page download I am gonna show you how to create something very similar to this as a one-page download I'm gonna show you really quick how to do it on Canva Pro there is a link for Canva Pro in the description below and you will get your first few days free to try it out and see if it's for you okay so I'm just gonna go to Canva and we are gonna go over to create a design and a bunch of different things will pop up but I'm gonna go ahead and just type in planner so then I'm going to select planner and what's so great about Canva is they have so many different templates for you to use especially if you're brand new to designing or just the internet in general Canva is so great for so many things and that's why I recommend it all the time so if we go down here I mean we have a bunch of different planners that we can do daily planner um, I saw or even like a to-do list is something that people tend to download and it's just really simple to do. So I'm just gonna go through here and find one. Okay, so I have selected one here and as you can see, it's already pretty much done for me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and change the colors around, maybe move a few things around to make it more um, my own before I go ahead and have it to be resold. So just a reminder here that people may be printing these out, especially because it's a one page listing. So what will happen is someone will purchase it one time and they'll print 50 copies of it and make their own planner. That's kind of the idea here, or they will download it into their good notes on an iPad or computer to use virtually. So we want to make sure that the file is accessible for both things. I am going to make it colored, but that means that someone that may print it out can still do it in black and white. So I don't want to use any super light colors or super dark colors so that they can still actually use it if they do decide to print it out. So if I'm using, you know, how some of these here have like a darker background, you have to be a little bit careful with that because if someone were to print that out and it would be too dark, they wouldn't be able to write over it. So just a side note on there. So I'm just going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to use some of my um, Canva tricks here and let me know if you would like to see a video um, about Canva and how to use it a little bit more because I really do love Canva and I use it for many different things. Okay, so I edited it only a little bit and I'm not gonna go super crazy just because this is a tutorial and obviously you can do anything that you want based off of the planner. You can completely make it your own, but if you are using Canva, as you saw, they have a ton of different templates for to use and make your own. So I'm going to be downloading this as a PDF so that way it can be interchanged by someone that is using it on a computer, but also can just be normally printed out for someone that's going to actually write onto it. The reason I'm doing a PDF is because that is an editable file and so that if we were to choose a different kind of file like a PNG someone wouldn't be able to type over that or upload it into their good notes or their iPad so we want to make sure that the file that we are downloading is an accessible file to the people that are purchasing it or you're going to have an issue so I'm gonna go over here to download and as it's saying suggested as a PNG if we were just selling that as a printable that's fine but because I want people to be able to access this on their computer I'm going to pick PDFC 
standard so that people are able to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. So before I upload that to Etsy after downloading it, I am going to show you another digital download that you can do if a planner is not something that interests you. So I'm going to show you a downloadable art print. So we're going to go to Etsy and type in digital art print. So now this is just an example to show you, but something super simple like this, text-based designs. There are some more intricate things, but these are pretty simple. They're best sellers. They're selling for 99 cents. But again, even though the price is so low, you really don't have to pay anything to make these and you'll still be making income anytime you get a sale and you don't have to do anything because the process is completely automated. So your city, I mean, there's so many different things on here. So I went over to Canva and just created a simple design here. This is a heart. It says feel it to heal it. And I'm going to be doing the same exact thing and downloading this and selling it as a digital download. So that if someone wants to print it out and hang it up on their wall, they can. So again, same similar concept here of just creating something that can be downloaded and just making sure that our file is the correct size. So for this one, I have it saved as an art print and so that someone can purchase it and download it and print it out at their local um, print shop or just at home and use it as an art print in their house. But like I said, you can get really simple with that. So I'll just go ahead and create one really quick so that you can see how easy this really is to do. So I'm gonna go with framed art here. And then see there even are things that are already um, created here like you could even do a whole shop just like this so like Heather and Frank established you know the date that they're getting married Mr. and Miss and you can literally have a whole shop where you do this for people so you know you change the name based off of who does it so you can get really creative with this you can go on Etsy and see what other people are doing you can go on Canva and just try to be you know different with it and fun but it really is not something you need to overthink like this could be an art print that you sell and it's just it's really cool how we have opportunities to do this so now if you're wondering okay I want to sell an art print but how do I get a photo to sell of this art print I mean we see people selling these on all of these beautiful um, things and how am I gonna do that do I have to order one so the answer is no I'm gonna show you my favorite website to do this and to upload and use for mock-ups it's wonderful so I'm gonna show you right now but let me just save this file really quick so that we have it to upload okay, so we are going to be going to placeit.net and this will be linked in the description below and if you've seen my Instagram post I do talk talk about place it a lot because it's really wonderful for print on demand stores but it also is great for digital downloads as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go over a mock-up and we're going to go to print on demand and hit wall art so this is going to bring up a bunch of different mock-up photos for wall art so even though we are selling the digital print we are still able to show the customer what it'll look like if they purchase it print it out and put it on their wall which is amazing so i'm just going to pick a really simple one here um, just to kind to show you what exactly um, I'm talking about here but again do your own research go on here and really see what is possible because you can get so creative with this and like I said it's a big opportunity and something that's going to be really popular um, coming up so so once you have your selected image, you're going to go to insert image, upload from your device and find it exactly wherever it is. We're going to just size it to the correct size here. And then boom, we have a beautiful curated mock-up um, just like that. And then I'm going to download that and save it so that I can use it on my Etsy store for my listing. So I'm also going to do the same thing for my planner and I'm going to go ahead and go on here and I'm going to find something that will work out of somebody with some papers. So it'll look like, you know, a way that we can show what exactly our planner has to offer if you download it. So I'm just going to pick this one. Like I said, I'm just being really simple with it. And just like that, I'm able to showcase the planner. So once you have your mock-ups, you'll be able to go right into your Etsy shop and upload these listings. And I'm going to show you how to do so. If you don't already have an Etsy shop, I do have a video that I will link on the screen here and in the description that is how to set up your Etsy shop with a print on demand store. It is step by step. So you can go ahead and check that out and see the exact process and what you need to do. But um, pause this video, set up your account and then come back so that you can see how I'm making this listing. So assuming you already have your shop open, we're going to go to our listing section on our shop and click add a listing. And then we are going to create our listing. So I'm going to go ahead and do 
do the planner first. So I'm gonna upload that photo, mock-up photo that we just had, and I'm gonna upload what the planner looks like by itself um, so that they get a bit of an idea. We're gonna be using other shops titles as inspiration. Like I said, as inspiration, please don't copy and paste someone's exact title. That won't help you, that'll hurt you. Okay, so that is the title that I came up with there. Um, daily to-do list, printable, instant download, productivity, minimal, daily planner. These are all keywords um, that are able to download here. And then who made it? I did a finished product. And then we're not gonna select made to order for our printables. I know that um, for print on demand, we do have to do this, but for digital downloads, we are only going to upload it one time and we don't have to revisit it. So it's not essentially made to order. It's made and sent out as ordered. So I'm going to go ahead and just put 20 to 2022 20, to let Etsy know that this is already a created product. So then for the description, I just went ahead and made a super simple description here. Um, you know, letting people know that it increased your productivity, blah, blah, blah. It's a digital download. Nothing will be mailed to you. We definitely want to preface that. And then we're going to scroll down here and our tags so i'm just going to do some tags here principal planner download okay and then for the price so for the price i noticed that when i was doing some research here these are priced anywhere from 99 cents to ten dollars obviously ten dollars would be more on the art print side um so that art print that we had created too if you were to be uploading that you could charge more for that because that is you know more of an intricate design but for the planner i would really i'm not going to price it over two dollars because it's a single page download and um they can print as many as they want after they pay the one-time price so i'm going to go ahead and just price it at one 99 and like i said i know that that may seem low but if you have a full shop full of digital downloads it really will make a difference if your prices are lower and people will bundle and you know there's so many ways to make money off of this so don't get freaked out by only selling something for 199 when you literally paid nothing to create the product and you will get sales on it and multiple sales will add up the money so don't stress about that so for the quantity i'm going to do 999 because etsy doesn't let you do a thousand <laughs> and then i'm going to go ahead and upload my my file so make sure that you do in fact upload the file to the listing or it won't let you continue with it perfect so there we go i updated that and we are going to hit publish so publishing a listing on etsy is 20 cents it's not free and while that does seem small it can add up if you click the link in my description to sign up for etsy and start your shop you will get 30 free listings so go ahead and do that if you have not already um, but 20 cents will be taken out of the payment method or any sales that you make on your etsy account but i do want to just say that it isn't free and it's 20 cents to list your product and so here's what it looks like um once you have your listing completed so there's our beautiful title and our photos here and you can obviously add more photos but for the sake of this video i'm just trying to keep it short and sweet and then we see over here that we have an instant download item details there's our description we just typed in and all of that so that is basically how you upload it to etsy and i would do the same thing same process with that art print as well and i'll go ahead and do that quick and show you what the art print looks like too Okay, and just like that, I created this really quick listing for the um, art print as well. And the same thing with letting people know it's a digital download and having this beautiful listing and using our um, photo from placeit.net. So that is essentially how this works is you just take a little bit of time to create these digital downloads using Canva and then upload them onto Etsy. And every time that they're purchased, they, Etsy is going to automatically send that file you uploaded directly to that customer. So you really don't have to do anything. And this is completely completely passive once you actually create that first initial file. All right, that is how you can upload digital downloads onto Etsy and start selling them even just today. I really hope this video was helpful to you and that you learned something new about this process. Please leave me a question or comment down below so that I can check it out and give you any help that you may need. You can also reach out to me on Instagram if you're interested in learning through the private program. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss videos just like this one. Thank you so much for being here and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.